Hi everyone, it's Michael. So I have a fantastic problem for you guys today. Uh, this one looks like it should be pretty easy, but I found it to actually be surprisingly tricky. Um, and it was posted by the user Han Shiro on the Art of Problem Solving Forum. And this is the only um, post by him or her. So uh, if you're gonna have just one post so far, this is a really nice problem to have it on. Um, so if you'd like to try to solve it, feel free to pause the video. All right, so now I'm going to go over it. So I should say uh, my statement of the problem is actually just slightly different from uh, Hanshiro's statement, but it's essentially the same problem. So we have a triangle ABC with circumcenter O and in center I. AA1 is a diameter. AD is the altitude from A to BC. And we want to show that angle BID is equal to angle A1IC. Okay. So the first thing I noticed um, is that uh, triangle ABD is similar to triangle AA1C. Uh, so this is a very common uh, configuration in several problems, but angle AA1C um, has to equal angle ABD because they both intercept the arc AC. And, the, and also angle ACA1 is a right angle uh, because AA1 is a diameter. And similarly, angle ADB is the right angle. So I'm going to write this out. So like I said, we have angle ABD is equal to angle ABC is equal to angle AA1C. Okay, so one of the pairs of angles in those triangles are equal. And then they also both share a right angle because angle ADB is 90 degrees. And also angle ACA1 is 90 degrees because uh, AA1 is a diameter. So that's where we use that fact. Okay, so, so now we know that triangle ABD is similar to triangle uh, AA1C. So where do we go from here? Um, so ultimately, so, so, so I wrote here it's by a spiral similarity because basically uh, both those two triangles share point A and they're both oriented the same way. So a spiral similarity takes triangle ABD to triangle AA1C, okay? So ultimately we wanna show that angle BID is equal to angle A1IC. Uh, so here's kind of my strategy. Um, if we know a spiral similarity takes triangle ABD to AA1C, then we could see where does that same spiral similarity take point I? And the reason why we'd want to do that is because if it takes point I to some other point, um, let's let's call it G, for example, then um, by the spiral similarity, we should have angle BID is equal to angle A1GC, but that would be equal to angle A1IC um, by, if the problem were true. So that would mean that we'd want to find a cyclic quadrilateral. Uh, so I'm going to do this. So I'm going to let the spiral similarity take it to point, I'm going to call it E instead of G. Um, so basically, so not only do we have the triangle ABD is similar to AA1C, we have the whole quadrilateral ABDI is similar to AA1CE. So I'm just going to draw in a few more segments. Um, so basically angle BID is equal to angle A1EC and we want to show that's equal to A1IC. So we want to show that A1CEI is a cyclic quadrilateral. So that's going to be my strategy here. And so the next thing I noticed is that, so we know BI is an angle bisector and so it meets the arc AC at its midpoint. Um, but since the whole figure A1BDI is similar to AA1CE, um, then A1E also has to be the angle bisector of AA1C. So it also has to meet arc AC at its midpoint. So I'm going to write that out. So like I said, we have the whole quadrilateral ABDI is similar to AA1CE. And then we have two angle bisectors, so I'm going to write that out. Um, so BI bisects angle ABC and A1E bisects angle AA1C. 
And so they both have to meet arc AC at its midpoint. Um, so I wrote that out here. Um, so lines BI and A1E have to concur at the midpoint of arc AC, which I'm going to call F. Uh, that's just because equal angles intercept equal arcs. Okay. So ultimately, I wanted to show that the quadrilateral A1CEI was cyclic. Uh, but I played around with a, a bunch of angles and did a few calculations, and I found that's actually turns out to be equivalent to showing that AFEI is cyclic. So I'm going to show you this um, in the steps right now. So I'm going to try to show AFEI is cyclic, and it turns out that that's just an angle chase. Um, so I am going to do that angle chase right now, and I'm going to do it by showing that angle IAE is equal to angle IFE. Okay. So we have angle IAE, that's equal to angle IAA1 plus angle A1AE. Um, but remember, for angle A1AE, the quadrilateral A1AEC is similar to this other quadrilateral. So angle uh, A1AE has to equal angle BAI. So we have um, we can substitute that right here, so it's equal to angle IAA1 plus angle BAI, and that's equal to angle BAA1. Okay, and what is angle BAA1? Well, that's equal to angle BFA1, um, and this is where we use the fact that BI and A1E concur at point F. So, so BAA1 is equal to angle BFA1, and that's angle IFE. So we've shown that angle IAE is equal to angle IFE, and so that means that quadrilateral IAFE is cyclic. All right. Um, so now I, I said earlier that this would end up uh, leading us to show that IECA1 is cyclic. So now I'm going to show the angle chase through that. But basically, once we know that this quadrilateral is cyclic, um, my goal is going to be to show that angle IEA1 is equal to angle ICA1. But if we know that this quadrilateral is cyclic, um, IAFE, then IEA1 has to equal angle IAF. So I'm going to draw in a few more lines. But I'm going, to, I'm going to leverage that IEA1 is equal to angle IAF, and that's because the exterior of an angle in a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the opposite of that angle. Okay. So we have angle IEA1 is equal to angle IAF, and IAF is equal to IAC plus CAF. But IAC... So, so CAF is equal to angle CBF, okay? So we have angle IAC plus angle CBF. That's half of angle A and angle B in the original triangle ABC, okay? So I'm just going to write this out. So that's half of, uh, IAC is half of angle BAC because I is the in-center. And CBF, well, that's half of angle ABC, but the three angles of a, of a triangle add up to 180. So if you add up half of all, all three of the angles, it has to add up to 90. So half angle BAC plus half angle ABC has to be 90 minus half of angle ACB. Okay. Um, and if you look very closely at the figure, angle ACA1 is 90 degrees. So this is the same as ACA1 minus half of ACB, and that's angle ICA1. So I'm going to write this out. So 90 is equal to ACA1, and half angle ACB is angle ACI, and so when we subtract the two, we're left with just angle ICA1. So all this algebra, but ultimately the goal was we wanted to show that IECA1 is cyclic, and that's what we've done because we've shown that angle IEA1 
is equal to angle ICA1. And so that gets us where we want. So now we're pretty much almost there because if that's true, I'm just going to shift it to make more room. Um, then, like I said, IECA1 is cyclic. Um, and then once we know that, we have essentially enough to solve the problem. And um, that's because we basically we constructed point E um, so that this quadrilateral ABDI is similar to AA1CE. And so this angle uh, A1EC is the same as angle BID to the, due to the similarity of those quadrilaterals. But then because this is cyclic, that also has to be equal angle A1IC. And so that would solve the problem. So I'm going to write it out. Uh, so we have angle BID is equal to angle A1EC. That's due to the, the similarity of these uh, two quadrilaterals, ABDI and AA1CE. And then A1EC is equal to A1IC because IEC A1 is cyclic. So this was a, a really fun problem and a lot harder than I expected. Um, when I first solved it, I could only find a, a solution using trigonometry. Uh, but then someone else on the forum, um, Amar, beat me to it and found a, a geometric solution uh, different from this. Um, but also very interesting. So if you want to check it out, you could um, look at the link below um, in my description where I link to the website. And then, um, and then there's my solution that I came up with. Um, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks, everyone.